It looks like a scene out of a Hollywood science fiction movie. A building appearing to be building itself, but it's a reality. This construction technique is called additive manufacturing, or also 3D printing, and this particular structure being built on Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida, is slated to be the first usable, occupied, 3D printed concrete building on an active Air Force Base in the world. We're actually using it for two purposes. One is, this is a building that supports our robotics range research out here, but the other thing we've done is we've made this to where this could also work for some of our Red Horse training sites. Engineers with the Air Force Installation and Mission Support Center's Air Force Civil Engineer Center are leading the way with the research on this project. We're getting a good appreciation for seeing like how many folks this would take, logistics, things like that kind of see potentially if it could be something we could use in the field in the future. The field test of this technology with an industry partner is one of the ways the AFIMSC is leaning forward to meet the Air Force Chief of Staff's Accelerate Change or Lose initiative. The work is a partnership between our team uh, here in uh, the Readiness Directorate by our R&D team. It would be a great opportunity for them partnering with ICON. And also it helps us recover some of the infrastructure we lost from the hurricane. It does meet the new unified facility criteria, which is the military building code for 3D printed structures. But it also, this is the first 3D printed building that we know of, especially in the military, that actually meets what's called the Miami-Dade wind code standards. 3D printing has been around for a few decades, but in a smaller lab scale, often using polymer or plastic and even metal or other materials. Materials. However, using the same concept, this larger scaled 3D printed concrete building construction is a fairly new technology. There's a lot of creativity in the design that you could do that might not be possible at conventional or typical construction. Some of the shapes in there, they're based on mathematics, binomials, polynomials. There could be very specific applications where you might need to tailor the design and shape of a structure.